actually hit his shots, even if it is a fact. In this context. Here we go. Right, Barris gonna charge. Barris gonna eat a lance here. Immediately pops the BKB. Gets first hit by the Queen of Pain, but not quite enough to kill him. And the God comes through in the back line. Jonas and Fat are not able to get his ultimate off. Spearbreaker is the first one to go down. He immediately binds back Necromancer. Yeah, yeah, hit on here by Era. Now lift and seal gets oh. a lot of damage. The Echo Slam hitting on Sing and the Dragon Knight both. DK goes down. Swap from come with me. Not gonna be enough to save him. It's a triple for Era so far. And Nip are completely dominating this fight. Finally, Paris back here. Mads to get a kill on Seal Kid, but they end up losing five. Boy, you think that they wouldn't be able to play Raxxas in the Oh, that belt. Nip's gonna get initiated. Nice horse staff. BKB's popped by the side of Burden. They want to go on to Seal Kid. They should be able to take him down. No real problem at all. Sonic Wave popped by Lynn. BKB and the Cheese both used. Jonas up here in the back. He's gonna get the Supernova off, but now all of a sudden Burden in a lot of trouble. Era is in the middle of this. Can they kill the egg fast enough? It's stunned almost everyone. Mine up just sitting at the tree line. Here comes Hanska with a triple Echo Slam. Sing Sing, he's dropping fast. My Nuts is gonna be soon to follow. It is gonna be spotted though. Let's see if they want to hang. That's a lot of damage being done. There's a stun. And they're gonna collapse here. This is very chancy for Alliance. Let's see if they've got anyone in position to stop this. Ake okay, knows he has to get out. And Lotus is just going to BKB go right on to that Ogre Magi. Manages to bring him down. Now we've got Aaron trying to pursue out Ake. Okay. Lotus, in the meantime, though, having his BKB kited. And he's unable to do much of anything. They're kiting him so well because of the Viper Strike. Ake okay, still alive, just barely by the skin of his teeth. He's going to end up dropping the Viper behind the fight. Now Era coming back to re-engage. And Lotus is going to end up down. Bulldog gets off the Poison Nova. Too little, too late, however, as the damage is done. Viper does end up dead. There's another on-point glimpse. Bulldog gonna be the next to drop four for two. And with Era still standing, he's got the life steal. He may head into the pit and he will. We're gonna be an Aegis for the first time this game, going to Nip. And both teams playing it very cautiously. Roshan at this point obviously going to be the main center of attention and likely the, the scene of a fight that uh, may not determine the entire game, but damn well it's going to have a huge effect on its complexion. Roche is back up. That's a DD. They may have seen Ake okay, tether in there. And they're going to see him now. God, sure. it's going to die so quickly, though. Oh, they got to go so fast. His attack speed so high. They get a DD. They're going to move in. Here we go. Viper Strike should lead in the will. Loading will be slowed down. There's going to be the hook in. They caught Ake. Okay. Aegis picked up by Tiny, though. Now he's coming back out. And Era, as much damage as he's doing, just can't stand the fight. But the oh, he, oh, he got high grounded. He got high grounded. So he can't do anything. He's stuck. Bulldog in the meantime going to be cleaned up. It's current. A buyback coming out on Ake. Aki has to get to the fight and is trying to help Loda out. Heard a hook somewhere. Pycat going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Arrow. Will end up coming out on the bad side of it. Three for two. They got the Disruptor and they got the Ogre Magi. They got high grounded and unfortunately for Alliance that cost them the fight. But just the disruptive nature of an axe and what he can do in a jungle. And even if he's not completely successful, just making sure Alliance has to contest it and spend time doing that. There's a missed hook, by the way, from Bulldog. And that might end up hurting them. It's a void to follow it up. And Jonas is fine. Getting a little too far out front. Steel Kid's gonna be there, guarding Angel. They're gonna try to turn oh it around. Oh, what a turn! That was so beautiful! Oh, the guard call and Kachop! Down he goes, Steel Kid right there. Sonic Wave to come in! Gigantic plays, blowing Alliance out of this bottom lane. The Aegis did just expire, so it's gonna be a little more risky for him. There's a Lincoln's popped, and looks like Loda wanted to take a run at it. He pops the BKB, there's gonna be a hook in. Caught him, four staff back out. And that's just gonna be a, a delay tactic. Um, there's going to be a glimpse back as well. Can they follow it up? Bulldog glimpse back. And once again, Hanskin just doing the work. There's going to be a good call. They got mad with it. Call going to be there. Sonic Wave only got one, but it's the only one they needed. Loda trying to do whatever he can, using that spin as best so he can. He can't do anything. He's dead. Four stab. That Glimps. actually might have saved Oh, glimpse. Hello. That's called an alley -oop, by the way. When you glimpse it back into a dunk, that's an alley -oop. And uh, well played. From Nip, they bring him down. Still a lot of uh, a lot of work to be done as we do have the buyback out of load up. So it's gonna be a costly defense, but they may be able to keep their racks standing. Yeah, that, that was I think Bulldog just like forgetting about the fact that he was playing against the disruptor and Knight just got caught again. Yeah. Hanskin on point. Hello! Another dunk! Slam City! Uh, and they just they just forced two buybacks. Normally you would be like, alright, let's be happy to back up, and yet then they find another pickoff on the clockwork, who that's a dieback. So now they're gonna be able to take the the racks as well here, or at least force a four versus five. Well they just have such body and oh good two-man call. There's gonna be another call down guardian. Oh, oh my goodness, Alliance! 
melting in a hail of bullets. The Guardian Angel on the shoulder of Ninjas in pajamas. Triple kill for Era. Buyback on Lesh. Don't know that it's going to be enough. As load is down for the count. Bulldog still 30 seconds out. And there's no real dedicated stuns left outside of Splitter. That's going to be another set of racks. Two down. And it looks like Alliance's minutes are numbered. Another fantastic glimpse back. Mad's going to end up dying while he's uh, caged in the pen. And we can see Pycat doing what he can. Doesn't matter. GG. Well played. Well, the Shadow Fiend doubling the farm is a concern, considering the fact that Shadow Fiend is going for the mech, which is a great fighting item. He has it. 30 Ra's going to be uh, going for the kill right now. Hanskin's going to drop all his spells before he dies, but 30 Ra's taking so much damage. Thanks to that double damage, he's on the back line, dropping the Omni-Slash. Era is going to go uh, take him down. Meanwhile, on the back line here, Shadow Fiend takes off the Aegis. Clockwork Hook goes in. They're all trapped in the trees. Cogs, we could do so much work here. Battery Assault on the two hero. The Blade Mail doing a lot of work as well. Meanwhile, King are on the back line. He finally hit six, but he will go down as well. Boy, they needed that Sand King. Where was he? Yeah, but he needs to get a hook line. And right now, a creep wave is coming in. So this is actually a horrible Dyer's timing to walk in. Oh, oh, 30 raw. Attack. Don't want to go into here. It's going to take so much damage. Down, down, down in half. Down in a quarter. Mech just used on one. And he's going to have to get out of there. He didn't spin away. Meanwhile, Clockwork on the back line. Breaks the team in half. Sunlight and Dota in a ton of trouble. He's going to get stunned up as well. That's going to be two kills so far. There's a 10 of 4 on J4. King is going to be dead as well. J4 in a lot of trouble. They're going for Era. Era is going to get brought down, but so will be J4. Where's the Sankey? Sankey for Rose back out, but he will die. That's going to be a team wipe for Nip. Well, PR might catch him out here. Still get on the high ground with Era. They're going to drop a ward. They get spotted out. The entire game. Oh, fine. Lip goes in. He almost one shots Jay Boy. Just dies immediately. Omni Slash going out from Vigoron. He's stuck behind enemy lines. Lip chasing him down with that BKB pop. It's going to be two kills. Going with Lip Sunlight. Channeling the Raccoon. Epicenter comes in. Burrow Strike hits on two. Lip still standing here. Strong with the refraction on. Takes out Sunlight. It's going to be a triple for your TA. And the entirety of PR is wiped off the map. And GG is called. Nip take the series 2-0. So I, like, I think that's I, how you meant to kill the puck or the claws. Speaking of the puck, has the blink taken out limp? Almost getting stunned. No, no one actually leading relocate. with uh, the edict. And in comes the relocate. Fissure blocking all three away. Then the perfect follow-up stun for the lion. But still, they get over the top with the bristle back. And in he goes on to no one. Queen of Pain all comes through. They get two already. Toby, there's the third. Great fight so far for NIP. Man, that was perfect. The positioning from Unison Farm coming up the river. He hit two heroes with that, and that really just crippled the fight from Vega. And the relocate so early in from Hansken. They're looking to go even deeper. Pasha underneath this tier one tower, but Era as well as Hansken, they can commit to this or at least force exactly that. The TP out. Not only do Vega lose three heroes, uh -oh. they lose their time in the lane. Lines coming back, but I'm not sure about this because Queen of Pain is still here. The blink up to Sansi never even got the stun up. All the Hex, all the Finger, which is the only thing that will be required to kill off Limp. And you can't TP more in. The Gyre just TP back. Solo's all alone in the top lane. It's 7 to 10, and that is escalated very, very quickly. They don't have the vision. They can't see NIP running at them until NIP are practically on top of Vega. So Era is a frontline runner. They're around the corners. The spray came out. There's your observer ward. The instant hex on Era with a call down as well. This may just be enough for them, but the lion so injured. Seema, he's too hard. Era has got so much physical damage. He's beaten through the wall. Possibly nice as well. The call down's already lost. There comes your fissure with the sonic wave. Vega's down two heroes. And it's not going to end there. Mad's going to drop with Limp sitting on the edge. Maybe Unison Farm. No, even he can't die. That's it. It's a team wipe. In the words of the wonderful Karakasta, they're all dead. Because they've got the early initiation. But in this case, he's like, I want to ensure lane dominance and then I can come and gank. Now, Era, I was, uh -oh. actually waiting, I was actually waiting for him to doppelgang that, uh, but that's not going to happen. But no one, that's not where you want to be, man. That's the, that's the bigger kill. Disruptor getting the clip stack, and so what? Now, they will find Hanskin as the trade. That's a good call down, but out comes the grave for now. Hanskin kept alive. They're pretty solo low with the last. Just need a charge. Forwardy Phantom rushes in. Gets the kill. Man, does even finish up. Hanskin is three dead in the end. And now, chasing for Pasha. Four getting massacred. One more Lance would do it, Toby. Do it. He's got the raid. Do it. And he's got him. For the kids. Jesus. <laughs> this is... This is brutal. A bit unfortunate for Era, but in general, NIP were just very hesitant in that fight. 
Uh oh, no one dropping really low to the Shadow Poison. Oh, uh, be careful. Barra strike through. Aegis Morse in the hands of the Gyrocopter was killed by Dyer, but the cooldown's gonna kill off Unison Farm. Loop is in the middle of this battle with that Pulse Nova trying to burn through Solo. The Meg Charge from Pasha keeping him alive a lot longer. Just long enough that he can keep battling into Limp. The Fissure is blocking his path out of here at the same time that Aegis has burned off. And now it's NIP standing their ground, but Limp, the Shallow Grave's the only thing keeping him alive, and now that is worn off too. But the PL's in here. How much damage have you got? It is not enough to kill off the gyrocopter, but NIP, a quick turn of the fight.